So is winter a beauty disaster or is it actually a time to deeply cultivate your health and beauty? I am going to share some ancient wisdom that may help you really, really embrace and enjoy winter. But first, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments section below. I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington. I'm a naturopathic doctor. It's always been my mission to help you get rid of your acne, get glowing skin, and really cultivate your beauty from the inside out. And today, I am going to talk about winter. And as a Canadian, I have a lot to say about winter. Typically, in Canada, we hate winter. It is cold, it's uncomfortable, our skin gets dry, our vitamin D levels plummet, we get depressed, we have to navigate through like awful traffic conditions. We complain a lot about winter and we can't wait for spring. But the truth is, is winter is actually a very beautiful and a very healing time. And traditionally, people around the world have used winter as a time for deep healing and deep restoration. And that is something that we've forgotten. Although I do suspect that countries in Scandinavia may have not forgotten this because they are actually the happiest people in the world and they deal with even colder temperatures than we do in Canada. So that aside, I mean, that makes me think about, when, about it a lot, but let's talk about why winter is such a healing season. So in traditional Chinese medicine, which is thousands of years old, I mean, they have really cultivate the, cultivated this wisdom over many, many years and centuries. According to Chinese medicine, the season of winter is connected with the kidneys. And the kidneys, as you may or may not know, they host the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys and the adrenal glands regulate the stress response. And a lot of what the Chinese describe as being a function of the kidneys, such as storing our vitality and our essence, is actually more of what the adrenal glands do. So the winter season is known in traditional cultures for being the season that can deeply nourish and heal the adrenal glands and really um, regulate our cortisol response because when our adrenal glands are dysregulated, cortisol is not regulated in the body and the cortisol can really <laughs> you know, damage our health. In fact, in the US, up to 80% of all doctor visits are attributed to poorly regulated stress. Stress affects every single organ in our body. It stimulates three different pathways that lead to acne, and it can also age our bodies physically by 10 years. So stress is a really big deal, and you know, many, many you know, researchers and scientists would agree with me when I say that stress is the number one contributor to poor health, to poor beauty, to, more, to poor energy, and to really messing with our lives. <laughs> So healing the kidneys, healing the adrenal glands is you know, much easier to do in the winter than almost any other seasons. According to Chinese medicine, the adrenal glands and the kidneys actually like cool weather, but they don't like being exposed to too much cold. So being in a cooler environment, but keeping your body warm at the same time and nourished at the same time is the key to really healing your adrenal glands, regulating your cortisol response, and helping you transition from your sympathetic nervous system to your parasympathetic nervous system. And remember, healing only takes place when you are relaxed and when you are in your parasympathetic nervous system. It's impossible to heal when you are in a state of stress. And winter is the time traditionally to help us transition into a state of quietude where we can heal. And this season, more than any other season, we have the opportunity to deeply restore, to deeply heal and rest because due to 
the virus, many of us are staying closer to home at this time and we're not getting out and there's not as many holiday parties. There's not as much. There's not as many late nights and it really gives us an opportunity to embrace this time. So traditionally being very deliberate about our routines and about our activities at this time of year is going to make a world of difference. And the great news is, is that these traditional, this traditional wisdom that is being passed on to us, it's free, completely free, and it's enjoyable. So these are some of the practices that, you know, the ancient masters really, you know, encourage us to do during the winter time. These are practices that I've incorporated into my life during the winter, and it makes winter far more bearable. It makes winter even enjoyable, although I do have to say when summer rolls around, I'm incredibly happy <laughs> and I enjoy and, you know, really suck up every single moment of summer that I can, but winter is actually an incredibly beautiful season. So I am going to share some practices that the d doctors that practice Chinese medicine really encourage us to you know, follow at this time of the year. So number one, be asleep by 10 p.m. and wake up naturally. So don't use your alarm clock, just wake up whenever your body wakes up, but be in bed by 10. So if you do this during the winter, you're going, you're going to awake in the spring, being completely rested, revolutionary if you can do this. Number two, eat warming food, such as soups and stews, and be sure to incorporate a lot of root vegetables that are very seasonal at this time of year, so easy and inexpensive to incorporate into your diet. Drink warm teas and tonics. You wanna keep your body hydrated because this is the season that relates to the kidney and this relates to water, so hydration is important, but hydrating your body with warm fluids teas and soups. That's very, very important. Um, and two really great teas would be ginger and nettle. Those are very warming, very nourishing during the winter months. Exercise. You want to do gentle exercise. Nothing that's too draining, um, some, nothing that drives the body to work too hard. My favorite is to do yoga and you want to do something daily that stretches your body and really encourages lymph to flow throughout your entire body. Um, spend quiet time each day either in front of a fire or light a few candles and do a quiet activity such as reading. You know, that's something that's really great. Um, talking with somebody that you love, that's another really nourishing activity. Meditate, meditate daily. Just allow your body and mind to become quieter. This is a time for quietude, introspection, restoration, hibernation. It's a very yin time. It's a time to come into ourselves. Um, another practice is spending time daily in nature. That's a very yin activity as well. Very nourishing for the body. Enjoy nourishing warm meals with family and friends. And this is something you want to do at least weekly. You don't want to become isolated during this time of quietude. You want it to be very you know, deliberate in terms of your connections with people that nourish you. Not people that drain you, people that nourish you. Um, this is a tough one, but a really important one. Avoid screen time after 6 p.m. If you can find it within your schedule to shut it down at 6 p.m., you will reap so many benefits from this. Number one, more restful, more restorative sleep. You'll be engaging in activities that actually nourish and restore your body as opposed to draining your body. Um, you're going to avoid that blue light that really aggravates our nervous system. And enjoy warm baths and saunas and, I mean, the Scandinavians have us in the sauna department. It clearly works for them, and they have the longest, coldest winters, so we can definitely turn to the Scandinavians to learn something about how to do winter right. Um, so these are some of the practices that if you engage in these practices daily during the winter, 
this time will be very, very beneficial, very restorative, very beautifying for you. And at the end of the winter, you'll be able to look in the mirror, you'll look gorgeous, you know, you'll go into skin, into spring and do an amazing cleanse and your body will be so clean and rested and vital. It's a complete game changer. So I just want to make you have a, I want to help you. I don't want to make you, I want to help you have a fabulous winter. I want you to feel wonderful and healthy and I want you to be able to have clear skin, skin that looks youthful. And, you know, I'm just here to help you. So. I hope this inspires you to create a winter, you know, winter routine and tr winter traditions that really feed and nourish and heal your body. So have a wonderful day and happy winter.